Good evening and welcome to Wednesday's edition of the Regional News. We begin with news from the Bahamas. Prime Minister Philip Davis says while he's concerned at the report of the United Nations, Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, WAGD at the same time, quote unquote, I don't need a UN report to tell me some issues we have and we are addressing these issues as best as we can. In his preliminary report released earlier this month, the WAGD called on authorities to do more to ensure people under arrest are given access to legal representation. The WGAD visited the country from November 27 to December 9 and visited 10 facilities and interviewed over 130 people in detention. In its report, the WGAD said also that people are too often arrested without a warrant and arrests are sometimes based on outdated or expired warrants. It also found that detainees are often detained for significantly longer than 48 hours without court-granted extensions. Speaking with reporters, Davis said his administration has been working towards rectifying some issues contained in the report. Soon after the release of the report, National Security Minister Wayne Monroe, in criticizing the document WGAD report, said the experts did not provide proof of many of their accusations about the country's criminal justice system. Monroe said he found the report alarming, adding that it had inconsistencies. Continuing with news from the Bahamas. Police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of a 75-year-old American female tourist from Myrtle Grove, North Carolina, who died following a diving expedition. The Royal Bahamas Police Force says on Monday around 8 p.m., the victim participated in a diving excursion in waters off Ship Channel K, Exuma, and upon her return, to the tour boat, she complained of exhaustion and later lost consciousness. The woman received CPR but remained unresponsive. She was taken to the local marina on Paradise Island, where emergency medical technicians examined her and found no signs of life. An autopsy will be performed to determine the cause of death. Investigations are ongoing to this matter. We now bring you news from Suriname. A three-judge panel in Suriname upheld the conviction of former President Desi Bittersi for his role in December 1982 execution of 15 people in the former Dutch colony. Bittersi, 78, who dominated Suriname's politics for decades and left office in 2020, has denied the charges. This was his final possible appeal and he has been sentenced to 20 years in prison. The court ruled in 2019 that Bittarsi oversaw an operation in which soldiers abducted 16 leading government critics, including lawyers, journalists, union leaders, soldiers, and university professors from their homes. Fifteen of them were murdered at a colonial fortress in capital Parimabu. One trade union leader survived and gave testimony against Bittarsi. Quote unquote, those who sought justice had angelic patience. Court President Dinesh Suwartin said as he read the judgment. I am Carice Gonzalez. Thank you for watching.